Profiling the life of Obadiah Johnson, he was a highly successful secret agent, well known for his skills as a deadly poisoner. He worked with an accomplice known only as Cyanide Sue. Their favorite method was to slip poison into their victim's soup. Try to keep us crashed! Uh, it was in my room on my bed! No, get it! Shut down, get it! Can I please have some peace Shut and down. quiet? I'm trying to get this recipe right for Jane. And I can't even hear myself think. Too late. She's just arrived. Oh. And, uh, out. Come on, out. I don't know why you're making such a fuss over her anyway. Her family's from the same island as my family, so I'm preparing this local speciality for her. Oh. Knock them dead soup. <laughs> Knock them dead? It's not just soup. It's our way of life. <laughs> when I get it right, this stuff's lethal. <laughs> <laughs> So there's one Hey everyone, I'd like you to meet Jane. She's a student care worker and she's going to be here with us for a few days. Hello. Hey, Norwich City. You like football? Then again, if you're a Norwich City fan, maybe you don't. <laughs> oh, that's love. And this is his brother, Bouncer. Bouncer? You all right? before it's too late. Gotta go. Too many people around. Jane, you are to me what Nord City would to me be if I went to see her every Saturday. Sorry, um... Oh, dear. It's not what you think. All right, it is. It's a poem for Jane. But it's useless. I can't get rid of this rubbish. A letter would be more romantic. I could write it for you. No, no. Just go away. I need to be alone. OK. Do you really think a letter might work? You gotta deliver this to Gain's house. And don't open it, it's from Bouncer. Okay. Where'd she live? You'll have to find out. Be cunning. You gotta be really, really clever, Marco. You can't let her suspect a thing. Okay. Far enough. Give us the letter. Such a loyal little postman. But Bouncer isn't going to thank you when he's to visit you in hospital. Think about it. You know it makes sense. This stuff will keep you all quiet when it's finished. Try this. but I was interrupted. I still don't know what the secret ingredient is. Mm. The stuff's to die for. Yeah, but it's still not quite right. Hayley, you try it.
Jane, find the right words to say how I feel for you. <laughs> it's like looking for the purple ones in the pick and mix of life. What a sound. <laughs> you are like the light in the fridge, always on, even in the cold and dark. What? Wouldn't it be cool if we wrote back? Why? We don't like Bumsa. No, but if we write to him and he thinks it's Jane. Um, Jane asked for presents. Get with the program, Rio. We write, he gives, we get. I like it. Hmm. Pen, paper, now! What's the matter? I don't know. Bad stomach. Must have been something I ate. Knock him down to sleep. This stuff's lethal, lethal, lethal. Shorts. What? Hi, Jane. Hi, love. You look like a fruit salad. To impress Jane. Listen, I am impressing now, right? By doing a scorpion kick. A scorpion kick? Yeah. Bounce. Ready, love? It's honestly don't bounce. Ready? Bounce, sir. Seriously? Love, check it out. <sighs> need come on <laughs> best wishes bouncer I'm not taking it I'm on strike postman only strike at Christmas time it's more romantic if you deliver it to a house. There's something not right about this. She told me she's got a boyfriend. The point is, she's not married, is she? So I'm still in with a chance. Look at this letter. The handwriting's terrible. Bad handwriting's a sign of intelligence. It's totally unprofessional. Well, romance is dangerous. <laughs> Just hand it over, nice and slow. They're trying to poison us with that soup. They found special ingredients. It's fingers. They're trying to poison us. <laughs> I got a lip. I love letter. Jane, I got a letter. I got a letter. Jane, I got a letter. Oh, she loves me. Oh, she loves me. Dear Bouncer. Dear boyfriend. Rabbit. Chocolate. Dearest Jane, just a note to say that Mr. Sniffles the rabbit is on his way with lots of chocks in a beautiful box for you to eat today. Try 
to poison crash. Do you know how much chocolate he ate yesterday? Well, you tried to put us all to sleep, and I heard you talking on the phone to the boss. Oh, the boss. Don't tell Sid, but that's my auntie from the Caribbean. Keep it quiet, though. I'm not supposed to make international calls from the office. But you put ladies' fingers in the soup. <sighs> ladies' fingers. Okra. The secret ingredient. This soup's not poison. It's ambrosia. Watch. Mm -hmm. I believe is his name. Oh, dear. OK, Bounce. Nobody's perfect. You, me, Layla. We've all made mistakes. Sometimes it's better just to raise both hands and say, OK, guys, I goofed. Humiliation is a part of growing up. What are you talking about? How do I put this? Chantal, Roxy and Rio wrote Jane's letters. They've been making a fool out of you. You what? Jane never even got your letters. Something of a chance, then. Bouncer, you think you're mad? Anyway, I'm not writing anymore. Rise above the situation, Bounce. Be a man. Be a man. Oi, that's my rabbit. I got the ears to prove it. Here, take him. But remember, he's more of a rabbit than you'll ever be. And we'll have these. Mmm, knock em dead soup. Mm, nice. Octopus is it? Snail. Mouse. No, no, I, I can't say. It's a secret family recipe. Um, Jane, we bought these for you. We've eaten half of them, but there's plenty left. We've really enjoyed having you here. I suppose I better practice my scorpion kicks up. <laughs> I'm proud of you, bro. You see, you can do it. She's just a check. Hi, I'm Frances. I'm the new student. Is this a good time to interrupt? Yeah, come in, have some soup. Lol. Lol, are you all right? Yeah. Lol. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> No flipping. There's plenty more action coming now. something to tell you. What? Well... Good morning, girls. 
Come on, Haley, get a move on. Big day today, remember? Mark and Helen will be here in a few hours. You're going out with Mark and Helen? I'm going to breakfast. You coming? Hi, everyone. What's happening? Did you miss me? Hi, Layla. How was Midhurst Farm? It was fantastic. We are pancakes every day for breakfast. Good job, Pete. <laughs> Boys, come on, come on, Marco, come on, give, give, good boy, come on, Marco. The people who were taking you out this morning are waiting in my office. Off your pop, don't get washed. Up, hot doggy, hot dog, don't get your basket. I'll be in the garden later. Need to chat. Hello, Hello. this is Marco. That's, that's enough barking, Marco. Thank you. He's uh, uh, very excited to meet you, as you can see, uh, and, and very fond of animals. So you have a dog, by any chance? No, Martin's allergic. Thank you, Layla. It's OK. Don't worry. You can always go and visit. Go and visit? What? Hayley. Lucky girl. Just think, if it all works out with a new family, she'll never have to eat my cooking again. <laughs> Why? Well, she's leaving today. I'm sorry, Lila. I thought she told you. She said she would do as soon as she got back. Oh, she didn't. Well done, Duke, my son. You made a real mess of that. Thanks for telling me. I really wanted to, but every time I tried, I just couldn't. You'll always be my best friend. Best friend, don't have secrets. I know, I'm sorry. I'm really gonna miss you. Mark and Helen are really nice. They said you can come and visit any time, and I can come back here. Hayley! Mark and Helen are here. of your bat mates. Go away. It speaks. You want a hand to get down? There are other things I could be doing. You know if you hang upside down too long, the blood drains out of your feet into your brain and your eyes pop out. Yeah, it could be very messy, blood all over the place. I was coming down anyway. Haley told you she's leaving? No, she didn't have the guts. I had to find out for myself. We've known hundreds of kids to get fostered over the years, haven't we, bro? Yeah, hundreds. You'll be next. You watch. Some plants. I bet you a fiver. When there's all those perfect Barbie doll kids out there. Get lost. Families have little cute kids like you. So Bruce like bouncer no one wants. <laughs> <laughs> hey, they just got there first, that's all. Bad day, huh? No one's ever gonna foster me, are they? Of course they are. Little kids like you are the first to be snapped up. Yeah, if you're cute like Haley. But you're cute. In your own way. I'm never gonna get fostered. 
I'm just too weird. You know what you have to do? What? Just be a muggle for a bit. A muggle? Someone ordinary, boring. Then when you get fostered, you can do what you want. Hey, what's going on? Marco wants to be normal. <laughs> Marco, normal. Don't hold your breath. Oi. Don't worry, we'll show her. Can't be that difficult. Take him out. But it's the nighty bits that make Marco. Well, Marco. But Marco with nighty bits stays hanging from a tree all day pretending to be a bat. Marco without nighty bits goes out of a nice normal family to have fun. What do you reckon, Crash? You in? Sure. Be a laugh. <laughs> For who? Look, it might be a big joke to you, Tracy Beaker, but you're fostered. You're okay. Exactly my point. If I can get fostered, anyone can. This is Marco we're talking about here. What did you like for breakfast? Cornflakes and lemonade. And if there's none of that, I'd have bread and gravy. Good choice. From now on, it's toast and jam, OK? What's your favourite sport? Crown Green Berlin. <sighs> Football from now on. David Beckham's your hero, OK? But Yuri Geller's my hero. <sighs> no, repeat after me. David Beckham. David Beckham. Right, that's his hobbies and eating habits. Now his clothes. There is nothing wrong with my clothes. She'll be leaving in a minute. She's in there. She's waiting. 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 Yeah, maybe the toilet door's got stuck in. Thanks, but I don't think she wants to be my friend anymore. Of course she does. She'll write to you. I'm sure. So, here it is. The big wide world. Are you okay? That's my girl. Come on. It might seem a little bit strange for the first couple of days, but you can give me a ring anytime. Beat me with a big stick. I'm on a roll. I've even found the perfect family for Marco Maloney. They don't want him as soon as they see him. I'll eat my box file. Marco, remember, nice and normal. Hello, my name is Marco Maloney. Have you done something different to your hair? Uh, Marco, meet the boxers. Yes, yeah, so there's nothing I like better than watching TV and hope we'll see my hero, Derek Bebham. That is, of course, after I've eaten my toast and jam. Sorry to butt in. 
but life with the boxers might be a bit on the spooky side for you. We like to stay up all night, looking for UFOs, eating crazy stuff. My wife collects false teeth from the rich and famous. This is from the first Dracula film. <laughs> Maybe you'd like a family that was a bit more... What's the word we don't use? Lotus flower. Normal? <laughs> Maybe you'd like a family that's a bit more... like that. I hate you! I hate you all! We're right trying to help! How are we supposed to know they just landed from planet Zog? Well, what did I say? Dare to be different. You know, for once, you might be right. So, we tried it your way, now it's time for the beak treatment. Crash, you can come with me. Jackie, your recorder. Bouncer, go get Marco in his Sunday best. Yes, well, I do understand. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. OK. Bye, then. Maybe there's more to this boy than meets the eye. What are you doing, kid? I'm communing with the snake spirit of Nefertiti. Maybe you could be our sort of guy after all. I'm sorry, but I have a meeting with the leprechauns and they don't like it when I'm late. Well, don't let us stop you. But any time you want to join us flamenco dancing, you get your boss here to give us a ring. I will. Ole! I can make my world come true. All my dreams are seen. 